Um, it's only been 72 hours since I planted my seeds. Once again, only being 72 hours, we actually have some plants coming up. And every single one of these are a cauliflower uh, tip-off hybrid. There's more than one cauliflower coming out from each pot because I put more than one seed so in. So they are looking, looking pretty good. About uh, three or four true leaves on them. All right, everybody. So happy Mother's Day. There's my wife. And there's little Savannah taking a little nap in the garden. And we're just doing some more spring cleanup. What a mess. Hi everybody, it's uh, 2012, this is our garden. And uh, right behind us we got our rich compost. I think it's recording all the way over there too. Oh. And uh, today we're going to finally put some plants in. Although the weather's going to be horrible in the next couple days. It's going to be rain, 60 degrees, but... This is tough. Right. Okay, here we are. We are planting cauliflower. There goes the dog. And Miss Sue Ann is going to do the first one. Come here and show us that uh, over here real quick. Come here and just put it right up in the camera lens. Look back a little bit. Right there. There they are. That's our nice, tip off hybrid. Right? Looks good. And you're, we're just going to leave this wrapping right on there, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Here's our nice holes with the uh, compost. Like summer hasn't manure. really even started up here, but huge problem with the uh, Brussels sprouts and the cauliflower. Here's my cauliflower. As you can see. So, um, as you can see, it's just getting eaten away like crazy. And I'm going to show you, there's one on it right now. I'm going to get down here so you can see it. That is a cup. Look at it. You can see it moving and eating. Where? Look on my camera. Ooh. See it? Yeah. All right. Look at that thing. Look at it. Wow. wow. All right, everybody. Quick update, it is uh, June 30th, it's about 8 o'clock at night, there's Alex. And uh, basically what we've done is we're putting some brand new uh, compost soil, mixing it up on our plants, our soil's pretty rough, so um, helps keep the uh, stem stable a little bit more and uh, just supply some more nutrients to the plant. So we like to do this a couple times throughout the growing process. Real quick, in regards to the cutworm problem, I went to Walmart, talked to a few friends. Uh, this is what I got, this is worry-free, it's a powder. Um, basically you just sprinkle that on your plants and kind of around the base there. And um, you can do it once a week. Um, I did it probably three applications over the course of two or three weeks and the cutworms seem to be gone. Um, that and also just manually picking them off. So we got that under control. What in the world Get over are here. you chasing, dog? Get over here. You better stay here. Get over here. She probably had a rabbit or a deer. Or... What's the matter with you? <laughs> Trying to catch something, aren't you? All right, everybody. The cauliflower. The cauliflower has made a remarkable recovery. Um, they were eaten up by those cutworms, and they look great. I got six of those. Get them all in the frame here. All right. So there are all six of the cauliflower. Um, I actually have more than that. I do have one more. That's a Brussels sprout. I have one more right here. Um, planted that one later. It's not quite as good. You know, the leaves are getting eaten up a little bit. But I know there's no cutworms in there now. That's um, I don't know what that's from. And then there's also one more right there. So I have a total of eight cauliflower and these are the, the tip-off hybrids. All right. Oh it's so hot. A little drink out of the watering bucket. Oh, still recording. All right. The nice cauliflower tip-off hybrid right there. Two, four, six of those. It's July 22nd. And then uh, right behind Savannah. Sixth cauliflower. And right in front here is also another cauliflower. It's interesting. This is a monster. And that one is actually four weeks newer than the old ones because the old ones had cutworm, lots of stress, but they'll be okay. Check this one. 
there might be something coming in here too as well. Although, oh, yep, there it is. I don't know if you can see that in there. Nice. Look at this monster one right here. That one's going to be a good one. Which one am I cutting? You're going to cut this one over here. So, all right. October 21st. I just want to show everybody. Actually, why don't you get over there and before you cut it, if you would, just uh, peel back some of them leaves there so we can see this thing. This uh, head is about four inches, which is right where we want it to be. Um, that's when they taste the best. Oh yeah, look at that thing. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and harvest this whole thing. Oh, look at it. Oh, it might not be too bad. All right. So today is October 25th, and basically what I've did is went through my entire garden and I harvested I think six or seven um, of my cauliflower and I just left one in the garden because it's going to be about 24 degrees for the next week at least so all right so here we go I'm going to unwrap this thing we're back in the laundry room by the way it's kind of like a little Christmas present good nice so I think it's supposed to be lime green and hopefully it will mature a little bit on its own here look there's one of them that just fell right off I'm going to keep that but yeah, check this out. That's a pretty good size head. That's um, that's five inches in diameter, six inches maybe, which is a really good size. I like that. It's nice. It's a little bit green right there. It's hard to believe I'm standing here like this, and it's going to be a high of 20 degrees tomorrow in snow. But uh, like I say Thanksgiving Day. Here we go. You ready? <laughs> 